In this final conversion problem, we're going to convert units of meters per second over to units of miles per hour, which is a unit that we use to measure speed in this country. Now, one of the important things that I'd like to emphasize is that you don't need to know a thousand different conversion factors that will convert you from every single unit of length over to some other unit of length. If you know some of the fundamental unit relationships between the English and the SI system, you can make just about every single conversion possible. So for example, you should know 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. That's a fundamental length relationship between the units in the English system and the units of length in this SI system. Another convenient one to know, although it's not necessary, is that 1 mile equals 1.61 kilometers. If you know these length relationships, you can make just about every single conversion between the English and the SI system. And in this problem, let's try to convert 25 meters per second over to units of miles per hour. So this will be our specific example. And now some of the things that you should notice, or as a general strategy, I don't know a, how to go from units of meters to miles directly. But I can follow an alternative path because I know that there is a relationship between meters and kilometers. And then I notice that there is a relationship between kilometers and miles. And that would be the length conversion. So this will be the length conversion that we'll look at. And then the, our next strategy is to convert units of seconds over to units of hours. And I don't know a direct relationship between seconds and hours, although once you do enough of these problems, you'll eventually be able to see that there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. But let's, we're, not, we're not quite there yet. So I do know that there is a relationship between seconds and minutes, and then I know a relationship between minutes and hours. And this will be our time conversion. And so in this problem, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to, in one step, or technically two steps, I'm going to convert my units of length from meters to kilometers to miles. And then I'm going to convert seconds to minutes to hours. And I'm going to do that in two separate steps, and then I'll show you how to do it all in one step. So in this case, we're converting 25 meters per second over to miles per hour. So my first step is I'm going to multiply this by a conversion factor that will take me from units of meters over to units of kilometers. So I know 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. And then I'm going to multiply this by a conversion factor that will take me from kilometers over to miles. So I know that 1.61 kilometers equals one mile. And what you should notice is that this unit of meter cancels out with this unit of meter. This unit of kilometer cancels out with this unit of kilometer. And you're left with units of miles. So now all you have to do to finish this problem is multiply the numerators and divide by the denominators. And when you do that, you should get 0 0.0155 miles per second. And so the next step is to convert the units of seconds over to hours. And so I'll do that right below. So 0 0.0155 miles per second. And I want to convert this unit of second over to units of hours. So I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. And I know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. And what you should see is that this unit of second cancels out with this unit of second. This unit of mi minute cancels out with this unit of minutes. And my unit of time that remains is the unit of the hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 0 0.0155 times 60 times 60 to get my final answer. And when I do that, I get 55.9 miles, this is my unit of length, per hour. Now I can do all of this into one step. So notice that I did the length conversion. So this was my length conversion. And then this was my time conversion. Now as you get really good at these problems, you'll be able to do this whole calculation out in one step, and I'll show you that really quickly. So again, if I'm converting 25 meters per second over to miles per hour, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So the first step I'm doing is I'm going from meters to kilometers. Then I'll go from kilometers to miles. And then what I'll do is I'll start converting my unit of 
time, so I know that there's 60 seconds in one minute, and I know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, and what I ultimately get is the exact same answer that I had before, which was 55.9 miles per hour. And what you should see, just to summarize, this unit of meters cancels out with this unit of meters, this unit of kilometers cancels out with this unit of kilometers, the unit of length I'm left with is miles. And to look at my time conversion, even though my conversion is on the other side, in this case, this unit of seconds cancels out with this unit of seconds, this unit of minute cancels out with this unit of minute, and I'm left with a unit of time of an hour. And so this gives me my final answer. So just to summarize one last time, this is my time conversion, and this is my length conversion. And I can do those side by side.